Welcome guys, I welcome you all to this first YouTube video in this web development master course. So, we are going to be rebuilding the Apple website. This is the Apple website. You can see it's a very wonderful website. And now they've just changed their layout. It used to have some mobile phones there and some other stuff which they sell. The Apple website is both a corporate website, an informative website, and an e-commerce website. So, uh, we initially started with my students, my web development students. We started building the website when it had a different layout. You can see from here. This is what we were building before Apple changed their layout. We are just trying to um, mimic what Apple has there. So, this was what was there before. We started building this, but unfortunately, Apple has changed it. So we are going to be starting by creating a new page. We are going to be creating a new page. We'll create this first layout, and then we'll go to the other pages and launch it. And then we'll call this um, Apple Home. Apple Home. So, and then we are going to, we are going to start with Elementor. But before this, if you do not have um, Elementor installed, let me go here and show you what to do. <coughs> because we are going to be using Elementor Page Builder. So these are the plugins here. They are already installed. <coughs> these are the plugins already installed. You can see them here. I have Elementor Page Builder and then I have Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you can go ahead and install it on the back end that's you can see the link um in the description and you can use that link to install elementor pro so we are going to start here and then we've created a new page and when you create a new page it brings you here uh, where you are to start building your website so the first thing we want to do is that we want to come here down to uh, where you see this settings bar and then you click on it and then we want to make to hide the title of the home page of the apple home and then we want to make the page layout to be elemental full width elemental full width and you can see it loading <coughs> and then it brings us here so this is the first stage this is the first stage in you know constructing this page <coughs> 